In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to integrate WP Courseware with Wishlist Member Membership Plugin. Okay, let's begin. The first thing we want to do is we want to go down into our Wishlist Member Plugin. On your left hand menu under WL Plugins, select WL Member. Towards the middle, you're going to notice there is a tab for membership levels. Go ahead and click on that. The very first step in creating a membership site would be to create a membership level. Now you'll see that I've already went ahead and taken the liberty in creating the gold membership level. And what this is going to do is this is going to allow us to apply our units or our course outline to a specific membership level. So the very first step in this entire process would be to create a membership level. Okay, now that we've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to go over under training courses and select training courses. The next step would be to create a training course. Now in our example here we have already created a training course and so what we want to do is we want to make sure that our training course is set up to automatically assign this particular course to users when they register via wishlist. So what we're going to do is go ahead and click on the course and we're going to scroll down under user access and we're going to see that there are two options automatic and manual if this is going to be your only course on this particular website we highly recommend that you select automatic this will automatically enroll each person that registers through wishlist on your WordPress site and will automatically enroll them into this particular course if you're gonna have more than one course you'll want to select manual and what this will do is this will allow you to manually assign a course to individuals when they register based on which membership level they have chosen. For now what we're going to do is we're going to select automatic and we're going to click save all details. Okay. The very next step would be to add modules. Okay. Now we have already taken the liberty of adding modules to our course. So on the left hand side if we select training courses so you'll notice that we have module one already created. So the very next step would be to create units. So under course units on the left hand side, select course units. And you'll notice here that we've already created a couple of course units. And so what we want to do is we want to make sure that we secure these units. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go into each one of these units. I'm going to select edit right under the unit. and if we scroll down we're gonna find that there's a wishlist member section and what we want to do is we want to select yes we want to protect this content for members only then we want to select a membership level that this particular unit is gonna be available to so we're gonna select the gold member level and once you do that we're gonna go ahead and scroll back up to the top and click update and that's it and I'm quickly gonna go into the other course unit that we have and I'm gonna do the very same thing okay so now we have secured both of our units the very next step would be to create a course outline and so what we're gonna do is we're going to head over to the menu on the left hand side under pages and we're gonna select all pages now you'll notice I've already taken the liberty of creating a course outline but we're gonna go ahead and edit this because we want to make sure that this particular course outline is only available to the gold membership level go ahead and select edit under the page title then we're gonna scroll down and you'll notice here that I have already taken the liberty of protecting the content for this gold level so no action is necessary here so we're just gonna go ahead and scroll back up to the top and what I'm going to do next is I'm actually going to go ahead and register. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a different browser here. And I'm going to go ahead and plug in my registration URL. And I'm going to go ahead and select my username. and I'm going to go ahead and submit my registration. So you'll notice I have training your dog 101 course outline available to me now that I've logged in. And if we go into the outline, 
you'll notice that we've got a couple of units available and so what we'll do is go ahead and click on the first unit and once we're in the unit obviously there would be some content here and once we read through the content or if there was say a tutorial video here uh, and once we've watched that then we would click mark as completed so now what we're gonna do is head back over to our admin side and then we're gonna go down on the left hand side under users and we're gonna select all users and you'll notice I have user 1 which is already enrolled into dog training 101 and we've already completed some of the course now if in the chance that you have more than one course on your website and you selected the manual rather than the auto enroll basically what you would do if you had to manually enroll somebody is you would come right into this user section you would find the user that subscribed to your wishlist membership site and also you would have to figure out which level they selected which would be assigned to a particular course then what you would do is come in find that particular user and on the right hand side over here you would select update course access permissions and here you would have a list of all the courses available to this particular user then you would simply just select the checkbox next to the course that they are signed up for and you would select save changes and that concludes this tutorial on integrating WP courseware with wishlist member membership plugin thank you for watching